What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat Ford Gander Outdoor, uh, Gander Outdoor Truck Series. And today, ladies and gentlemen, is the last race of the regular season for the Truck Series here in Michigan. Last chance to get another win on the year for us. We have three wins entering today's race. Currently, eight drivers have qualified. Uh, Gustine, of course, with the ninth win, uh, the ninth different driver to win the race. He, of course, he won back at Daytona. He is out based on points. Another win today would boost him into the playoffs. Last chance for Matt Crafton, Tyler Ankrum, Sheldon Creed, and more. So let's head on to the racetrack. Let's qualify. And um, hopefully, hopefully, we have a shot to uh, get in victory lane here in Michigan. So let's head up to the racetrack. Let's go now. And qualify. Over. Good job. We're going to start 16th here today for the Corrigan Oil 200. Not a great lap at all, really. I mean, the truck wasn't really under us. Alright, guys. Last chance for many drivers to get a win. Matt Crafton starts 8th. Sheldon Creed, Todd Gillen, two drivers that without a win. Of course, Tyler Anker, Anthony Alfredo, Matt Crafton, Jordan Anderson, Tyler Dippel. Most of the guys in the about three guys have not in the top ten haven't got up there. So we're gonna start 15. Somebody had an issue in front of us. So let's head out to the racetrack for the final race of the Gander Outdoor Truck Series season, regular season before the postseason at Bristol in the next race. Sheldon Creed is having a stellar weekend. Dean didn't have a good practice session in Ross testing, which it doesn't matter for Ross testing. He is in the playoffs with the most wins at this point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go for the regular season finale of the Gender Outdoor Truck Series. The Corgan Oil 200 in Michigan is underway. It is as if the Red Seas parted on the first lap of the race. We're going to get the lead on the second lap going into turn one. And that was interesting. Wasn't, expect wasn't expecting that at all. Got a call high. 
trying to break the track of the guys behind us. Sheldon Creed with a huge run. The high lane just doesn't seem to be the right lane here in Michigan for the truck series. <coughs> we have completed four laps, 21 laps to go. Looks like Stuart Friesen's got a very, very good truck. He's just following us on the bottom. Three of the top five have not got a win on the year. Matt Kraft and Tyler Ankrum, they're all battling. Everybody's battling to go to get into the playoffs. So this is the final race, final shot for everybody. Turned very good there. Boy, Matt Crafton trying to work the high side. Our truck's gonna watch the field. There's Stuart Friesen, our championship rival. by Stuart Friesen and wash up the track. Stuart Friesen underneath of us and once again. An incredible battle for the lead here in Michigan. Are we going to give him a belay? Three wide. <coughs> We're going to drop back to fourth. Crafton four wide for third. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's contact. Creed and Crafton got me in the wall. Us. We're gonna come down pit road. We're battling Stuart Friesen for the lead and made a little bit of contact. I thought I was clear of him actually. I actually thought I was clear. We're gonna restart last. All right, guys. So here we go with the restart. Are you ready here? 
So close all year long. Twelve to go here. Careful, still there. Here's the winner at Eldora. Harrison Burton, the Pocono winner, the back of the pack here. Sheldon Creed going for the lead. How about that? The pole sitter. Testing as far as way up to 12. Stay low, stay low. We fought our way back up to 9 on 4 tires. Oh, car in the wall. Caution flag is out. Drama here in the final laps here in Michigan with 10 to go at the line. Somebody blew a right front tire. It didn't look like Dylan Lupton. Yeah, tire issues. Oh no, we're not coming down pit road. Absolutely not. Now we less than a few laps to go. Caution flag is out. And uh, it's going to set up a very, very interesting start here. Top five. High lane and turn one and two. Moffat is there. Four wide once again for third. I 
stream is you're looking at the incredible 4 y battle for the for third spot that wasn't paying attention to the wall. I don't know why pre joining the way high side we're gonna get a huge run on him here in the back straightaway. One thing's for sure, we don't have nothing for uh, Creed in turn three and four. Creed's actually really good in three and four. Our truck handles the best in turn one and we're gonna come up. Matt crafting up the third. Best chance of passing is right here. Clear, can we clear the two of Sheldon Creed all turn two? No, we can't. Side by side for Sterling. Creed trying to fight his way into the postseason. That mob is trying to not put himself with more stage points. More playoff points, my bad. Here we go, final lap in Michigan. Please, no caution. Oh, truck pushes. Yo, oh, we're gonna have issues to get around Creed. We should have gotten around Creed when we had the chance. Oh, we're not gonna get alongside of him. Sheldon Creed, we're gonna bounce off the wall. We're gonna spin the car. We're gonna wreck you. Ingram, checkered flag is out. Ingram's going to finish 30th. We brought a and, that's and a wild finish for us in the truck series at Michigan. We tried, we tried, we tried. That first lap of the race was insane, but we just charged through the field. Truck was real tight at the end of the race there. Oh, Dylan Lucton loses the tire. One of the times we should have gotten around three, but I didn't pull, it was right there, didn't pull up. Yeah, I just. We drove it too hard, hit the wall, and then wrecked. It showed him three, took the checkered flag. The banged up race truck. What a race. 
And unfortunately, we take out um, Ty Anchor with us right there. Boy, he lost a lot of positions. He could have finished, what, 50 points in the regular season? So I set the fastest lap of the race at a 40-38. Sheldon Creed led 13 laps in the race. Ross just seen 32nd to 11th. Tyler Ankrum fifth to thirtieth after contact with us late. And here's your race results, ladies and gentlemen of the Corgan Oil 200. Sheldon Creed punches his ticket to the playoffs with a last race win. It's gonna be interesting to see who he knocked out of the playoffs. So Matt Crafton so close once again. Johnny Sauter, Ben Rhodes, Stuart Friesen, Todd Gillen, Tyler Dippa, Austin Hill, Jordan Anderson, Ma Mason Massey, your top ten. Ross Justine, Harrison Burton, Austin Wayne Sells, Grant Linfinger, Clay Greenfield, Spencer Boyd, Josh Remude, Anthony Alfredo, Natalie Decker, Mike Snyder, your top 20. Jennifer Joe Cobb, Corbin Forster, Raphael Lesser, Cobb, Benjamin, Puck, Tinnerman, Josh Balecki, Travis Coffell, Haley Dean, Gustine, Tyler Ankrum, myself, and Dylan Lupton out of the race at the end. We made too many mistakes here in this race. For whatever reason, that last run, we were just extremely tight. And I don't know why. We made the playoffs. I mean, it's a bad finish. I didn't want to finish 31st. We were going for the win. I mean, we had nothing to lose for the truck series. Six races, to, what was it? seven races to go. So let's take a look at the playoffs. Oh, it looks like Ben Rhodes will miss out on the playoff opportunity. So Ross just seen a 29-point gap over Johnny Sauter, over Grant Infinger. We have 17, Stuart Friesen. Harrison Burton, Austin Hill, Johnny Sauter, Red Ampinger, Sheldon Creed in with the win there. So who got left out? Ben Rhodes. Ben Rhodes misses the playoffs based on points. So Ben Rhodes, your Martin Zill winner, misses out. Gustine, of course, misses out with his um, performance of the year. Hasn't been top quality. After the win in Daytona. But with that being said. There's your 8 drivers ladies and gentlemen. That will contend for the Truck Series Championship. The first race at Bristol. Motor Speedway. Hopefully we can get the win out of the way. Using the first, here in this round of 8. We got Bristol. Uh, Canada Tire Motorsports Park. And Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Which I didn't really do good at early in the year. So best chance to win is probably at Bristol. See you guys in Bristol for the Gander Outdoor Trick Series as we punch our ticket to the round of eight. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys later.